Hello fellow blenderers, this is Peter here with PM Designs. In this video I just want to show you how you can mess around with the meta rigs and create some of your own freaks of nature. Like I could create this mermaid, I've got a, a shark tail attached, or I've got this um, four-armed wolf-headed with a tail man, four-armed wolf man. And over here I've got a wolf with a human face, so that's a man-wolf. Um, it's really easy to do, usually, um, but I'm just going to hide these quickly and do one example for you. So I've got my, I've got a human here, Let's, and I've got a wolf. So I'm just going to do the, I'm going to make make a wolf man because it, it shows two different ways of doing it. So I'm just going to come into edit mode on the human meta rig, and I'm going to delete uh, all of these, delete the whole whole head including the under here there's a face bone if you don't know that thank you symmetry uh, there's this bone which is called face and delete that as well delete all of this and this and I'll delete the breast bones just because I want to so then come out edit mode go back to click on the wolf edit mode and now I'm just going to select uh, down to the head and I'm going to press P to separate those okay so I'm going to bring this up to here I'm just going to come into edit mode just because I want to line this up a little bit better. Whoops. I want to line this up a little bit better, something like that. And so now I'd simply click the head bone there, click the the human body, control J, and it's joined together. And I just need to actually click on this bone, click on this bone. I need to basically I need to parent the head bone to the spine. So there are two ways I could do that. I could first click on this uh, head bone. And then click shift click this one the way i know which one to click first is because basically when i click parent it's going to join the head to the tail the head is the big part the tail is the small part so if i if i click this one first and then shift click this one and then click parent it's going to go up there yeah so it joins the head to the tail so i click the bigger one first Shift click the second one, I can press control P. I do want it connected because this is a spine chain. It has to work like that. Another way you could do this if you don't know is just click this one, come down here to your bone properties, relations, and then just find the name of this bone, which is spine 005. So I click that and I choose it down here, spine.005. Okay, and I want it to be connected. So like that. Okay, so now it's just a way just to test. Let's hide the wolf. We don't need the wolf anymore. Um, go into bone object, uh, sorry, not the bone, the, the, the rig object data properties, uh, upgrade the face rig, why not, and generate the rig, and yes, it works. So we've got the fully functional uh, wolf head on a fully functional human body. But So I want to give it a tail. So if I bring back the wolf and I try to amputate the wolf's tail, it won't work. So I just select all of these, press P, separate bones. Let's hide this part now. Okay, so now I want to join this up here. I'm not going to do it properly because it won't work. And so that's the tail. And then this is the shift click the, the human, uh, sorry, the wolf man body. And press control J and the tail disappears. The tail has gone somewhere strange. So we're not going to do that. But I, so I'm going to come into here and I'm going to add a tailbone. But I need to, just in case you don't know this, I need to know what type of bone this is. So if I go back to my, well, I could do it here. Click on this in pose mode, go to bone properties, come down here to rigify type. It tells me rig type is spines, basic tail. Okay, go back to object mode, delete that. Come into this guy, edit mode. And I'm gonna go to the object data properties, the whole rig, come down here to where it says samples and I'm gonna click spine, basic tail. There are loads in here, you've got the hands, you've got face, and all this kind of thing. So spines, basic tail, add sample. Okay, so now he has a tail. It's the wrong way around, but it's okay. Um, so now I just want to position this. I'm going to make this one the active bone. Make sure I'm working by active. Yep. So rotate that, size it out a bit. Okay, I'm just going to bring it away as well, slightly. So this one, you cannot parent it the way we did with the head, because on this one you've got a head connecting to a tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail. Here it's going to be a head connecting to a head, so it won't work. 
but we can still just parent it and keep it offset like that. Okay, so now if we go into pose mode and we move this um, root bone, the tail will follow and then it still works on its own. So then just go back into generate object mode, generate rig. And there we go. We've got a full wolf man or whatever you want to make, fox man, dog man, uh, dinosaur man. I guess a dinosaur, you might want to use the, the, that thing. And yeah, so it will work for tail wags and all that. So yeah, just to kind of recap, if you want to add any, any bones, you need to find out what type of bone it is. So if I wanted to, let's go back to this human. If I want, sorry, it's not a human. I want to know what type of bone this is. So I go to bone type, sorry, bone properties. Come down here, it tells me it's limbs.arm. So then back in edit mode, I can go to my bone object data properties, go down here and find limb.arm if I wanted to add another arm. I could always just copy this one, but if you didn't have arms to copy from, you want to add some arms on a dog, this is what you do, add sample. And it should appear somewhere, there you go, down, the, down at the 3D cursor. Okay, and then you need to add a shoulder and you need to add a palm and a hand and so on. I hope you learned something from that. If you did, please drop a like and uh, have fun making some weird Frankenstein creatures. <laughs>